Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Yeah, welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss 001. And today we have got a very interesting plane in front of us. And as you may be able to tell through these bad textures, we've got the Tupolev 2144. Yes, the plane that I like to call the fake Concorde. Even though technically this plane kind of came out before the Concorde. You know, it had its first flight in 1968, whereas the Concorde had its first flight in 1969. I mean, we gotta say, though, 1969 is a nicer date, right? That's, no, no problem. Yeah, I don't know. No, this is indeed somewhat of a of a fake Concorde, because it looks so similar. I mean, I have made a video about this plane actually getting into it in real life. Yes, there is a museum near me in a German land that has a real Concorde and a real Tupolev actually next to each other, where you can really see, damn, these planes are so similar. <laughs> but the thing about that video was that I wasn't able to obviously fly that plane. I was just able to enter the plane from the back here, you know, and uh, check out how it looked. And actually, I didn't really hate it from the inside. Actually, it was a little bit better than the Concorde. It didn't feel super cramped. The cabin space is a little bit bigger of this plane, but um, what it actually is to fly this plane, I don't know, and I don't want to know, and I cannot know. I just, this is not going to happen, of course. But today, we're going to check this out here in the Flight Simulator Next Plane. Damn, this model is so extremely ugly. Holy moly. This is so bad. What the hell is that now? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, we'll come aboard the Tupolev 2 144 cockpit. As always with these Russian planes, it's green. Now what I don't get is the, is this also called the Snoop Droot? Or Droot Snoot? Or, or Droop Snoot? The Concorde featured a Droop Snoot. Droop Snoot? Yeah, the, the Snoot would droop. The Snoot Droop. Yeah, that thing that comes down whenever you want to land or, or take off, right? Because otherwise you'll not be able to see anything. Does the plane have that? I think it does. Whatever, let's just go ahead and take off right there. We're at a 400 meter long runway of Saba Airport. Actually, one of the shortest runways on this. I don't know why we're here. But we're going to try to take off anyway. So this is actually the interesting thing now. How much runway does this plane need? What is the runway performance? Let's find out today. We can hear some mumbling. Russian probably in the background. I don't, I, I, I don't know. And let's take off. Come on, you can do it. Oh. Alright, so thank you guys for watching today's video. I'm just kidding. What's that Russian in the background? This is a very interesting video, I can already tell. Let's maybe for this video go to the good old Russian land. Um, I mean, for example, we have Sheremetyevo International Airport, one of the main airports of Moscow. Beautiful city, beautiful land, the former Soviet Union. All right, welcome to beautiful Moscow. Actually, we have the beautiful city over here, but let's not care about that. Let's care about the plane. You know, <laughs> actually, I have quite a few Russian viewers watching always, and I always wonder, well, how they feel about me talking about stuff. All right, whatever. Uh, let's just go ahead and take off right there. See if that actually works. Okay, we can hear the engines. Uh, actually, pretty loud. As you can tell, though, we do have afterburners activated, which always looks very awesome. Makes it this plane looked like a military plane. Let's go ahead and take off. Come on, you can do it. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe the realism of this add-on is uh, not that good. But so far, we're flying. Okay, let's go ahead and put up the landing gear, which always looks very interesting. Damn, that, that landing gear is kind of floating. Did you just see that? All right, that's uh, interesting. But other than that, this plane is so damn similar to the Concorde. I mean, it has, you know, four engines that have afterburners. The the whole tail section is very much Concorde-y. And also just the Delta wing design itself is so damn Concorde. Even though I'm not quite sure about these two little wings up here. Makes this thing kind of look like an insect, right? It looks very much like an insect. I've, I've never... Yeah, that's it. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and actually try landing this plane as well, because, of course, landing planes like the Concorde or the Tupolev is always interesting, right? All right, now, this is the, the thing where the Snoop Troop actually would come into play with a Concorde. I genuinely... I have no idea how this plane works. I don't know if... I don't know if we have to put down anything to properly see anything, because um, I really cannot see... Jeez, I cannot see anything. This is going to be an interesting landing for sure. I can already say that. All right. Now, what are some other things about this plane to note? You know, for example, reliability. I think we should just not talk about that, right? Reliability isn't really important for planes. Yeah, no, this uh, plane does not have a very good history when it comes to crashes and all that stuff. Let's see if we can uh, get this plane. This is like genuinely impossible. This add-on model to fly. I hate this. All right, come on. We can even hear some Russian mumbling here in the background too. Let's do the Harrison Ford and land on the taxiway while we're at it. I mean, <laughs> that's our excuse now. Whoa! No! All right. Coming in for... Coming in for... Come land. Yeah. No. I mean, apparently, though, I was not the only one struggling to land this plane properly. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. 
That's some bounds there. Damn, but a safe landing after all. That's what we've got to appreciate. And what we can tell here, I haven't mentioned this yet, parachute. Yes, actually our plane has this as well. We literally have on board a parachute button that we are supposed to press when we land. But we have to land properly for that. Let's see, can we get a nice landing here at least? Come on, you can do it. This is now French. Now that's, that was actually a good landing. Come on. Not all Tupolev 144 landings were uh, too bad. So maybe we should try this again. All right, come on. Um, the thing is, again, this Snoop Droot that actually does have to come down for a landing doesn't really... I, I don't... I can find the, the, the switch. Maybe is it here? No, this is not the right one. What, is, what does that do? Wait, that's the wing sweep switch. Wait, what? The wings actually sweep? Oh, damn! That's something the Concorde cannot do, right? Expand and de-expand the wings? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's put this back to normal. Let's see how the wing shape actually changes. It does get smaller, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah, damn! All right, so that's important for landings as well. We haven't actually thought about that. And this is, I think, what does this do? So many new things to check out, huh? Oh, this is the flaps? Okay. But other than that, I have no idea how to actually to get that snoop out. Okay, <clears throat> now. Well, then let's maybe try just a landing like this again. Maybe this could be an interesting emergency situation, right? The snoop Droot doesn't want to come down. So, let's go ahead and land without that one. We don't really need it. Um, drawback is that we have to land without the cockpit view, because, you know, the snoop Droot is in our way, okay? So, then from the outside view, I just want to see how this plane works when it's actually landed. Come on. Okay, that's been too much of a landing again, I can tell. Okay, come on. Now proper one, we can do this. I remember looking good now, actually, for the first time ever. Runway is ahead, as you can see. We're actually landing a plane from the outside view, something I hate doing, genuinely. All right, now landing. We can do this. I mean, hard landings are okay, you know? Hard landings are okay, they are accepted. Let's go ahead and get this plane stopped. In order to do that, we have to put out the par parachute. Okay, parachute, parachute. Looking good. Damn, it's three parachutes. Holy moly. Come on, we can stop. We can do it. Can we? Oh, wow. Damn. This plane's a slow stopper, dude. What the hell's wrong? I'm pulling max on the reverse thrust. I'm pulling max on the brakes. Everything. Plane's still not stopping at all. Holy moly. What a weak stopper, dude. That's nothing compared to the Concorde. Or at least maybe that's here in the flight simulator. I mean, this is the crappiest model I've ever seen. <laughs> so bad. I mean, this is literally the description of the aircraft. Take your vodka and feel the G-force of the Russian plane. Yeah. Uh, now, I've had the idea of going to um, the south of France again, just to, uh, for a uh, political, I don't know, something Concorde. Oh my god, this plane is crashing. Well, that's ironic. This plane is unflyable here in the flight. I hate this so much. All right, come on. I mean, I just hope that the plane didn't fly like this in real life, right? I'm, I'm just gonna say that right now. Holy moly. Now, come on. We can do this. Let's not be super fast now. We're, we're a little fast, right? Okay, we are very fast. This is genuinely the unflyable This is so bad. Like, genuinely, this plane does not fly at all. This is genuinely so bad. Oh, don't die again. Come on, you can do this. Is that how the real plane flew? Is that how the real plane flew? Holy moly. Okay, I mean, just look at this one. This is how you do it. The Concorde model, very much beautiful one. Uh, at least that one works. Let's see if I'm able to land that one. Okay, this is gonna be weird if I'm not gonna be able to land that one either. Maybe it's not the Tupolev 2144 after all, but this is how it's supposed to come down. This nose thing, the droop snoot. Which as you can see, comes down nicely here in the Concorde. Okay, now we're gonna be able to maintain our speed quite nicely. Now it's not too spectacular to land this plane after all. I mean, it doesn't have, you know, parachutes or anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, this is uh, interesting anyway. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh. Sometimes you have to have hard landings as well. All right. And now stop. This is totally fine. As you can see. Doesn't even need parachutes. So, okay. Yeah, Tupolev 2144 is pretty cool. Concorde as well. Concorde was better though. Because uh, the Tupolev liked to crash a little bit. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mubarak, uh, Block, Moritz, Deload, um, Toby Cook, of course, Great Grandpa John, Mark, Leo, uh, Philip, No You, Larry, Finn, M, uh, Thomas, Riley Preston, Government Pasta, Will, Philip, Iscanvi, Kalamati, Airlines, Opalax, Cherry, and Kelly Chaos. Thank you so much.